Hey everyone, welcome back. Lucklight here, and we're continuing Final Fantasy III for the NES. And uh, we're ready to tackle the next place. Uh, this is Dorga's house. The uh, reason we're here is because uh, the people in Salonia told us to come down here, and it may give us more information on what's going on with all the darkness in the world, etc, etc. So, here we are. Now we're already under attack. Don't you know this is the wizard Dorga's home? Attack them! Nyaaah! <laughs> Oh, hey. And I believe this is the first appearance of the Moogles. You're the four light warriors, aren't you? So the crystals have given their power to humans. The one trying to bring darkness upon this world is Zand. Zand and I once studied under the same teacher. The teacher was the Archmage Noah. When Noah died, he left me his magic. I'm in the dream world, and Zand life as a human, which is the crappiest present ever. Zand was dissatisfied with that and left this world. And now he's caused that earthquake using the power of the earth crystal. But Goldor shattered it. <laughs> now that was the crystal I created that gives birth to gold. Earth crystal still sleeps. Oh, good. Zand has sealed off the power of light that is trying to summon darkness to make it his power. We have to stop him no matter what. And here's Dorga to help us out. And Moogles run away. He must be a midget to enter it. That's another midget dungeon. Our favorite. Six spells. Go scoop them right up. Also, I must mention that I leveled myself up to 30 uh, in between episodes. That's four levels. So my strength has been increased heavily in preparation for this place, because, ugh, midget places suck. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Here's a chocobo uh, area if I needed one. Hip and lip. And nobody's dead, but revive, yeah. High potion. Alright, so let's shrink up. the magic circle cave. Apparently it leads to another dimension. And I can't switch back, so I'm stuck as a midge for a while. Unfortunately. Let me, if you'll allow me, I'm gonna call up a map to this place, only because I do not want to be here longer than I have to. And I'm gonna take the shortest route. <laughs> Okay. Unfortunately, the enemies ambush me immediately. Great. Uh, apparently I can't run with him. Or him. I may have to switch to something better. switch out. It's not going to matter because I can't use any of my equipment anyway. Uh, let's see, who has run? Oh yeah. 
Kind of a bummer that I have to do this, but... What are you gonna do? I think the knight can run. And he can switch to a monk. I think both can run. If not, we'll switch again. Okay, let's go this way. Another ambush. Why the hell not? How the hell do these knights get in here anyway? Because they look normal size. And I'm getting pounded. And I can't run. Isn't this, isn't this fantastic? I feel like they're not gonna let me run until at least a couple people die here. That would be my luck. Imagine that. This is absolute bogus. Yeah, they're not, they're not letting me run. There's no way I can beat these guys with this in this stage, so... This is absolute nonsense. And he's dead now, too. Great. And I'm lost. Alright. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to cut the episode, and when we come back, I'm going to be standing in this spot, and I'm not going to be dead, because this was absolute crap. <sighs> See you in a second. And we're back, and we're going to take a little bit of a drastic measure here as we once again try to do this cave. I got back to roughly the same area, I moved my characters into the back row, hopefully we do not have the same issue that we just had a minute ago. Because now, I'm going to use the thief's ability to escape, giving me a higher percentage of being able to run. Alright, that's better. For now. I mean, granted, I could probably, you know, turn all my guys into mages and blast them down with magic, but... I, I really do not like these areas. I do not like having to shrink myself down like this just to get through an area. I don't understand what the creators, the game designers, were thinking when they said, let's make this dungeon. I'm at a loss. I didn't like it in the remake either. I don't like it here. It's just, it's way too, way too aggravating. And plus, running away reduces your defense to one, so even if I wasn't a midget, running would still beat the crap out of me. And the only way I can do this right now is using hijinks. So, put it this way, if you are playing this game, whether it's the remake on Steam, or you found a copy for the DS, or you're playing the NES version on an emulator. These areas stink. Anyway, we're out of here. I'm gonna switch back to my jobs. Re-equip my stuff. As this is the place we need to be. I'm gonna leave him the thief until I permanently get out. Alright, here's the magic circle. Seems I do not have much longer to live. That's very 
thing, bad thing to say. First, I will enchant your ship Nautilus so that it can go under the sea. Zahapid Mukaim. Go south of Salonia to the Temple of Time on the bottom of the sea at that two pronged cape. Noah's loot should be there. I'm gonna need that to bring Un back into the dream world. Or from the dream world. And he's gonna go and get the key to Eureka. Glad to be done with that. He warps us all the way out. All the way out. Alright, but now that we have the underwater ship. We can now go to some areas that will help us on our quest. First, let's get this awful mini off of me. Let's change him back to a Karateka. Change everybody's row back up. stuff. Actually, hold on. 122. Twenty-two. Uh, he's gonna get close to the point where I should take off his weapons. Alright. Finally done with that BS. So, let's get out of here. Oh, and don't worry, they trade one terrible area to the next. So if you were thinking that was the end of the terrible areas, you're wrong. So the next one doesn't have a shrinking mechanic or a frog mechanic or anything of that nonsense, but it does have an annoying mechanic. And I'll be showing it to you pretty soon, if not this episode, the next one. Most likely the next one. Yeah, it's gonna be the next one. Because I'm ambushed every frickin' battle. Are you serious? Alright, so apparently this episode I'm going to be stuck here for the rest of the time. Alright, well, I guess I'll just explain where I wanted to go. The next place I want to go is to a village that is blocked off from the world by rocks and you're supposed to go underwater to get to it. And it holds uh, every magic spell in the game, except for the level 8 spells. Level 8 spells you get pretty much in the last place, for good reason. And plus I can't really use level 8 spells with the jobs I have anyway. Ambushed. You know... <sighs> I don't know what to say. I really don't. Other than I'm very livid. But, uh, but yeah. White magic and black magic, I can only use up to level 7, so I was trying to get to the level 7 spells. Probably gonna have to do that in the next episode now, because I'm stuck here. And we all know how good running away is. But I guess what I'll do is I'll get to the at least the end of this uh, tunnel. And maybe, just maybe, on the next episode we can get there. And we can do all of the 
I guess you would consider them side quests at this point, because what I'm supposed to be doing right now is uh, going to the Temple of Time. But we have the opportunity to get something uh, useful right now. I'm never gonna get out of this. I'm never gonna get out of this. I'm gonna be stuck here for the rest of my life. <laughs> Alright, what I'll do, I'm gonna cut it here, and uh, I'll tell you how many battles I get in between now and the end of this. Maybe a couple more. And uh, on the next episode we'll head to the, the town I was talking about, like I can't, <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I'll see you on the next episode, it'll be better than this, this nonsense. Sometimes you have to go through nonsense to get rewarded. And I guess this episode shows it. So, anyway. My name is Lucklight. Thank you for watching. And have a good one.